Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Skyrim. I'm still sitting here in my new library while... <laughs> is that him coughing? While Teldrin stands there looking at me creepily. Guy kind of creeps me out a little bit. Um, so we spent quite a bit of time, well, we spent the entire last episode pretty much uh, building up my uh, little house here, and I'm pretty excited about it, but it's time for us to leave. We have some work to do. We have a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of quests in our quest list that we need to take care of. So I was looking at the map and the journal, trying to decide what it was I wanted to do next, and I think I've decided that I want to move forward with this, what I think is one of the main quests in the game, uh, the quest for the Greybeards. After demonstrating my ability to learn words of power and to shout, the Greybeard Arngear has sent me on a final trial, retrieving the horn of Jurgen Windcolor from his tomb in Ustengrav, a burial mound in the marshes of Hjarmarsh. And if we look at where that is on the map, we'll see that it is up here. So, I have to decide how we're going to get there. A uh, big wide open area of places, you know, uh, of, the, of the map that we haven't discovered yet. Uh, I really don't want to walk all the way from... Uh, here. <laughs> I mean, that's a long, long freaking walk. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run on down to Falkreath and uh, then from Falkreath we'll take a carriage to Morthal. We've never been to Morthal, but we should be able to take a carriage there. And then from Morthal we could go on up here and uh, work on retrieving the horn of uh, Jurgen Windcaller. What's over here? Oh, I don't know why this is still selected. Um... There, turn that off. Okay, uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know. Um, seems like a thing. So we are going to uh, go ahead and run on back to Falkreath. Just take a quick jog. Um, actually, now that I think about it, is it possible for me to have a stable here? I haven't noticed. A stable, it is possible. I have some nails. So I could have a stable here. Uh, let's, let's just do that real quick. Let's build a stable. I don't know if that automatically gives me a horse or not, uh, but I am curious about it. Okay, I, th I think I just need the one iron ingot here to make nails. I could be wrong. Let's see. Nails. Okay, we're going to make some nails. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll just put a stable here and see how this goes. Okay, I've created a stable. I wonder what became of St. Geo. I met him once, you know. Oh, okay, here's the stable. And the stable <laughs> does not come with the horse, okay. <laughs> I didn't think it would, but, um, yeah, you know, it was worth a shot. So we've got a stable there. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get me a horse at some point so that I could make this trip, especially between here and Falkreath, quicker because. Uh, if I'm going to really make use of my house, I'm going to be making this trip a lot. Okay, so <laughs> uh, we're actually in White Run right now. Um, I went to Falkreath, and there is no carriage in Falkreath. Not that I can find anyway. So instead, we are now up here in White Run. And uh, we're going to travel instead from White Run up there using the carriage. So let's talk to this guy. Can take you to any of the whole Hire you, you carriage. And we're going to go up to uh, Morthal. Climb and back, and we'll be off. It's an expensive trip, um, but uh, this is our. This is quite a, quite a trek. So up to Morthal we go. A place we have never been before. Now I really don't want to explore Morthal. I don't want to find any new quests, but I have a feeling that um, it's going to happen. Anyway, look, see these people standing here. As soon as I walk out of those people, I bet you anything. That some something something scripted is going to happen, and I'm, glad that I'm finally traveling. I'm going to find myself um, in the middle of a new quest. So let's go over here and see what's going on. What's the yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. There's no use for wizards in your midst, and they're afraid to go to their homes, wondering what the Jarl is going to do about this problem. Well, we were not given a quest. Look at the water. It looks pretty cool. Please don't mind Yorick. 
he's not mad. Really, he's not. Oh, it's Idgrun. I don't. What? Someday I'll be Jarl. Mother reminds me often. I hope I can help the people of Morth all the way she has. Okay, there must be another Idgrid. Because he mentioned the name Idgrid. So she's Idgrid the Younger, so there must be another Idgrid. Maybe that's the Jarl of the town right now. So we are going to make our way up here somehow. Um, maybe easier said than done. Let me guess. But that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to start making our way up here. And like I said, we're not going to really explore this little town right now. We've we've got enough work to do. Like, we're not even going to talk to that guy. We're just going to move on. The mill, I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Now, if there's a path that leads me over here, I don't know, man. We're just going to kind of like walk in the direction and uh, see how far we can make it. So we've got Teldrin with us. I feel pretty safe with him. He's pretty powerful. He's quite the magic user. Plus he has the Sanguine Rose. That uh, staff that uh, Sanguine gave to us. The Daedric Prince of Debauchery, I think he was. It's a pretty cool... Um, staff. It summons a demon. It's pretty neat. A lot of blood on these rocks here. So yeah, we're going to see some stuff. That is probably explorable, but uh, we're just going to walk on past it. We are here for one reason and one reason only. Boy, this place is marshy, but also snowy. Normally, marshlands are warm, in my understanding of marshlands, so I find it interesting that these are cold marshlands. Hmm, I'm going to have to cross that water, it looks like. This is... Yeah. Um... I think I need to go back around this way. Let's go back this way and go around the water. Giant lichen. Sure, why not? I wonder what became. Oh my gosh, dude! Shut up. I met him once, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm sorry. Am I supposed to ask you for the story of how you met St. Jub? Okay, let's see what the map looks like now. Okay, now I need to go around again. Just trying to keep from getting my boots wet, you know. Water's really cold. Butterflies belong to me now. Oh, that's a little crab, huh? A dead mud crab. Fried mud crab. Uh, I'll take the ingredient, the chitin. Oh! <laughs> he summoned the demon for that crab. Uh, need to think a little bit before you go summoning the demon, dude. It was just a crab. Ustengrab discovered we're here. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Necromancers, that's not good news for me. Oh gosh, it didn't damage to oh, There's also bandits here. Okay, that'll take care of her. Right, where'd she go? I don't want to lose her body. Uh, gold, moss, and ropes. Uh, looks like the job is... Hey, I want that butterfly, damn it. Come here. There we go. Boy, it looks like... Uh... Well, Teldrin over here took care of everybody else. Here's a bandit. We're going to get his gold. And I don't think I want anything else from him. There's probably other bodies around here too, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. A pile of them. These may have been taken out by those necromancers. I don't think the necromancers were part of these bandits. I don't know. So they had a little camp set up here.
Butterflies. I mean, look at them all. I gotta grab them while I'm here. Come on. You understand. And Death Bell, that's something we don't see very often. And this is some, uh, it is Nern Root. Okay, it doesn't glow during the daytime. Or at least you don't see the glow. Okay. Well, let's walk up here and check this out, man. Another body down there. What's up, dude? Come down here trying to do your bandit stuff? Didn't work out so well for before you did it. Gold Potion Ruby. That's some pretty good stuff. Nothing in the sack. Oh, that one's empty. Well, I mean, we're going into Ustengrav. Let's go in, man. I mean, that's what we came here for. Walked all this way. Rode all this way in a carriage. Another bandit here. Whoa. What are you doing, dude? Quit making noises. Gold. Oops. Gold, gold necklace. And a lockpick. Iron mace there. I don't want that. Let's go into crouchy crouch mode. Oh, this place is looking kind of interesting. Oh, somebody's down there casting fire. See him down there? Shooting fire at something. Another bandit. This guy's probably not going to be friendly. Oh, he's got his own flame anchor, anchor knock. Hm. Are you friendly, dude? These thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. Hmm, okay. Another one. Bah, weak-willed rabble. Even dead, they're almost useless. Okay, these are bad guys. You can tell by the way they talk. Ale. Oh, I don't want the ale. Garnet. Why did I pick up the ale? Nobody will ever know. They seem less intelligent each time you raise them. If that's even possible. As long as they can swing a pickaxe where I tell them, they're as smart as we need them to be. So we've got some thralls in here. The others must have found something. We'd better go see. These can tend to themselves for a few minutes. Okay, they're going to take off here now. So they're ra they're raising bodies, I guess. I guess that's what thralls are. To uh, do some mining for them. And now something's come up and it sounds like they're going to run off and look into it. Peeking around here real quiet, like. Okay. Let's see if there's anything interesting up these steps. Ooh. Oh, an unsearchable urn. Another oh, body up here. Is this a Draugr? It is. This is probably what they're raising, these Draugrs, to do their work for them. Potion of True Shot, Potion of Minor Healing. Wait, Teldrin. Teldrin's ready for action, man. Not sure what to make of that. I've got a burial thingy. here for us. I don't see these thralls that they were talking about. A couple books that, according to the game, we've already read. Amethyst, gold, gem, magic, elven mace. Uh, it's pretty heavy. 
I don't know. We're gonna find I'm better glad stuff than that. I'm finally traveling with someone who seems competent. Uh huh. I'm glad I I'm finally traveling with somebody who won't shut up. Trying to tackle an entire fort of bandits alone. Mm hmm. Let's see. Um, we got this area here. Trying to make our way here. We've got all this over here. Oh, let's look. Oh, look at this. There's, there was a fight. A bandit here. Bandit didn't stand a chance, doesn't look like. Leather armor. That's a good weight to value ratio, I feel like. Gold. Man, I don't want the other crap. Bandit outlaw. The Khajiit has joined the bandits. How could you, Khajiit? How could you? Okay, let's go down here. Hmm. Look at this guy. They're, they're down here taking... Killing other people, it sounds like. I don't think they're coming after me. I don't know if you heard those voices. But yeah, they're... There's a battle going on down here. Oh, what's going on right there? Oh, Draugr's, they're taking on... Whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. Well, uh, looks like we're uh, going some fighting now. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Look, he's fighting the demon. Oh, Teldrin's an enemy now. She must have cast some kind of spell at Teldrin. No, he's fine now. Well, what do I know? I don't know what that was. I don't know why he fought the demon. Maybe she turned the demon to her side, or maybe she turned Teldrin to her side. I'm not sure what happened there, but she's dead now. Everything looks back to normal. Staff of the Flame Atronach. It's kind of fun. Okay. We're still spotted, according to the little eyeball in the center of the screen. Here she comes. <gasps> Okay, good job, Teldrin. Teldrin, you do a good job, man. Ash pile. We're gonna help ourselves to this gold and this skirmisher's potion. Oh, she did. Look at the pile of bodies in here. <laughs> Holy cow. Drugger. They've almost always got gold on them. It's an interesting weapon. A honed ancient Nord greatsword, but it's not really worth a whole lot, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Robes, gold, Luna Moth wing, and bone meal. We'll take all that. Another Draugr here. Get his gold. Another Draugr. He's got a common soul gem. I can't believe all these bodies. A fire mage adept. Robes, empty gem, potion. Seems like they've done a pretty good job of thinning themselves out, which is good news for us. Quite a battle took place. Gold robes. Okay, well. What do we have ahead of us here, Teldrin? What remains to be discovered? Here we've got Potion of Health. Another Potion of Health. I like potions. Potions are good. What is that thing? I don't know what that is. Let's look at the map again. Oh, this place is a maze. Hmm. Was there a path here that I missed? Not there. 
I think this is just showing me that I did not walk in this corner here. Yeah. That's fine. Better safe than sorry. Make sure we explore everything. What is this thing? I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's kind of neat. Got a bunch of urns in here. Potion. What are they doing in here? Brewing up a bunch of stuff? Looks like a door. Look at the map. Yep. That looks like some kind of secret door. Is there a path to my left here? Hmm. I'm not sure. Almost looks like a path. Huh. There's going to be a chain somewhere that I pull to open that? Almost look like something I could interact with. Take all that stuff. Hmm. How do I get through this? Maybe this is uh, how we come back. Maybe. But there's definitely something there, right? Yeah, this isn't Dark Souls. You don't swing at a wall to open a, open a, a hidden door. Hmm. Well, Teldrin, I don't know, man. Not sure what to make of that. Huh. I mean, I wonder if this is related to it somehow. Ruined books. There's another one over here. I don't know, maybe they're just decoration. I don't know. But they look like they're functional. Got another room over here. Some very interesting stuff in it. People just dropping their gold in urns. Some canis root. I think that's probably an ingredient, isn't it? Every little bit of gold helps. Adventuring is expensive. I want to add a potion in it. Potion of Health. Mystery of Talara, Volume 2. I don't remember reading that, but the game seems to think that I have read it. It's worth 55. I guess it's worth picking up. The Mystery of Princess Talara Part 2. I guess maybe I do remember that. Okay. If we look at the map now, this is just a little room here. And it's interesting, we can see more of this path now. That's... I guess these are just like roots or something here. It looks like hieroglyphics. Need to find a torch to give it to... Teldrin so that he could carry a torch like Lydia did. I was just wondering if I could light that thing. I, it's, I swear it looks like it's glowing colors, doesn't it? Like now it's kind of 
pinkish and then it kind of like fades away to different colors I mean it could just be because of that this fire here Man, I'm telling you, that sure does... I mean, look at it. It's got like a reddish-pinkish glow to it now, and then it kind of fades away to a yellow. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm intrigued by this. We may, we may never know. Skeletons here. Some bones. Not even full skeletons. A longbow there. <laughs> Is there a hill in here? <laughs> Just rolling along. There's a coin purse. Can't say no to that. Okay, we got a path going that way. Interesting. Let's take it. Okay, so we found a way behind this, what appears to be a door, secret door here. Ah, oh, there is a chain. Okay. Interesting. There's a lever here. What the hell? Oh, I'm going down underneath it here now? Oh, this is kind of fascinating. Before we go, help myself to this gold, help myself to this gold here. Probably gonna accidentally take this tankard. No, I did a pretty good job. What in the world is this place? If we go back out, walk down here, which will take us what, to where I believe we want to go, but we gotta go check this out, man. Come on, Teldrin, let's see what go, what's down here. This is kind of neat. Treasure. What? Okay. Neat. Found a chest. Gold, gem, potion, potion, potion. But, uh... I guess it's a bit of a dead end. Hmm. I actually thought that this... How the heck did I end up here? I actually thought that this might go underneath of here and come out up there. So actually, I'm not sure how I'm going to get up there now. I'm thinking I missed something somewhere. I'll have to come back and investigate that at some point. Huh. Okay, that's kind of neat. Lock Teldrin in there. <laughs> what are you going to do now, children? <laughs> Is he smart enough to use a lever? <laughs> oh. Interesting. Oh, Teldrin. <laughs> uh, I'm not afraid of that thing. I just want to go get him. <laughs> He's looking at me like, dude, not cool. I'm like, it's not my fault you're too stupid to use a, a switch on the wall. Okay, so we go this way now. Down in here. But yeah, where... How do I get there? I don't know, man. Maybe one of these days we'll fi figure it out. Got ourselves a drugger here. Take the stuff from him. What's up? Yo! Finish him off, will you, Tarkin? Gotta summon that flame, Atronach. 
He's got so many tools at his disposal. Oh. I don't have my shout available. What do you got? Gold? The Atronach? Nope, the Atronach's there. I should stay out of the Atronach's way. Well, I'll just let Teldrin do all the work. That's fine. We got a battle axe here. Look at that thing. Pretty neat. Oh, Teldrin. Hmm, okay. Thought Teldrin had found a secret path or something, but no. Iron helmets. That's worth a lot. Bone meal and gold. I wonder why they always have bone meal on them. Not always, but oftentimes. Have bone meal on them. Oh, there's a path above us there. Okay, well, um... I guess we move on here. Get back into crouchy mode. Walk up through here. Get some candles and such. Okay, now we're going up. I don't know if there's anybody left alive in this place or not. After that battle that took place a while back between the Necromancers and the Draugr. Get some cool potions. I like potions. Oh, don't want to miss that one. Detected. Hidden. Detected. Who's detecting me? The Flame Atronach? Teldrin? It's hard to say. We already looked in that chest. Iron Dagger just lying there. Hmm, this is looking like an important door. Now, see, we're leaving here. My thought is, is that, you know, like sometimes in these multi-level type dungeons, when you leave, sometimes you'll find a path back to where you were. And so I'm hoping that that's what that is. Because otherwise, I've missed something. Coin purse, little coin for your troubles. Troubles. Uh, Ustengrab Depths here we're getting ready to head into. That's kind of cool. Into the depths we go. Now we're doing this because this is the last trial by the Greybeards. Part of the last test. This is kind of neat. Well, that's where we're heading, I guess. Looking pretty tricky down there. Got a little bit of humming going over there. Going on over there from Teldrin. Path here. It's a long way down. Uh, that's looking pretty scary. Is that a person standing in front of that flame? Is that a person on fire? I don't know. Oh, whoa, we have a visitor. Hey, what's up? Teldrin, behind you. Oh man, fire to the face. Take your arrows and your gold. Okay. So yeah, what's... Is that... Is that... So, I'm not sure... 
but I think that somewhere in here is a skill that allows me to see further. It might be under archery. I'm not sure. Let's go to archery and check it out. I haven't put anything into archery. Here we've got overdraw, eagle eye. Pressing block while aiming will zoom your view. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, but I can't get this uh, because I don't have the one before it. So I'd have to spend two points in order to get this. I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and get it. Okay, because I want Eagle Eye, I think. Okay. So now, if I switch to my bow... Um... <laughs> okay, there's the zoom. It's a little zoom. I think that is a person standing there. I think it is. I think that might have been a person standing, or might be a person standing there, which is pretty scary. It's not much of a... Oh, there's somebody there, too. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh... Ooh, we've got some trouble ahead, man. Pretty scary stuff. So this Draugr came from... This path here. This is probably the same path, right? Let's see what this map looks like. Hmm. Oh man, look at this. Oh, we have a long way to go to retrieve the horn. Probably going to be in here a while. Okay, that's, that's the path the Draugr took to get to us. Oh, is it? It's iron ore, everybody. Yes! We need the iron ore! Sapphire? Oh, that was a good vein. Good vein. That was a long way down. You don't want to slip off of there. Fall to your death. Oh! Okay. Yeah, got on fire a little bit. Well, I guess the whole thing is a pressure plate. Somebody does not want us here. Let's see if we can peek through this little window here. It's just a hallway. Hey, how's it going? Trucker down here, welcoming us. Ooh, over there. I guess there's another drugger. Somebody already killed this one. This guy, he's walking over there. I don't know if he's going to show us the path to get up here or what. He's probably going up. Yeah, he's going up around this way. He's going to come out right there. He's determined. Don't see him yet, though. thinking about it. Here he is. Took care of that guy. What do you got? Gold? He's got a friend over there. Picnic tables. It's back here. Well, I see a chest over here. Gold, arrows, potion, potion, potion. I dig it. Looks like this could be a pretty neat layer. Lots of storage space. Do 
dude above me there. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Casting stuff at me from above. Nice strategy, dude. Wheat? I don't know if that's an ingredient or food. Pick it up anyway. Uh, one thing I just remembered that I also want is some straw so I can make myself a bed. For my home. I'm gonna find some straw. Did you kill the Draugr, dude? Where's the Draugr? Here he is. What do you got? Gold? Okay. Um... Anything else in here we wanted to look at? We got a throne here. Let's sit upon the throne. This is blocking my view. Charred skeever hide, that's an ingredient. Lavender, another ingredient. Looks like there's something in the bowl. Yeah, jazz bay grapes. Grilled leeks. That sounds like food. I don't know if that's an ingredient or not. Grilled leeks are not an ingredient. You never know, man. You never know. Greetings, look how cool that thing is. Ah, she's showing off for us. I think she likes us. Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna go up these steps here. That's unpleasant. Somebody. Uh, restless Draugr's axe lying there. I've been detected. Okay, this is uh, the other side of that w little window we looked through before, I believe. Whoa, who are you fighting? What's that? Maybe that was just the uh, flame Atronach disappearing. Hmm, this is interesting looking. Some purpleness on the ground here. Hmm. What is going on in this place? Where are we on the map now? Okay, we're making some progress, but buddy, we got a long way to go. Long way to go. Hmm. Interesting. So this is like flammableness here. Okay. Get my bow out. Well, Teldrin. It's a bad news for you, dude. <laughs> Pay attention to your surroundings, Teldrin. <laughs> Handle to activate here. Oh, that's cute. Don't get too far ahead. <laughs> okay, we need to figure out what's gonna open this door. <laughs> snakeheads there or something. Now, Teldrin, we need to figure out how to open that gate so we can get the goodies beyond it. Pathway there. There's another door that, or lever there. Silver ingots. More Draugr need to carry silver ingots, I think. Ooh, Amulet of Dabella increases speech skills by 15 points. Interesting. What an interesting thing to be on a Draugr. Why'd you have that, buddy? You're not talking to anybody. You just thought it was pretty. I don't know if we're going to get trapped in here. Found ourselves a common soul gem. Skirmisher's Potion. We found an arcane enchanter. Cracks me up way deep inside of this place. Gold gem potion. The enchanter here. Don't really have anything that I want to disenchant. Alright, well, got the goodies. 
There's another um, hanging fireball thingy up there. Come on, team, let's go. Huh, so we got a path that goes that way. Probably gonna lead down to that big open area we saw. And then up here, we've got a troll skull, weak stamina poison, and uh, not much else really, just a little place to hang out. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna hang out up here. And I'm going to read a book before we end this episode. Let's take a look at our inventory, see what books we've got. I think Teldrin is still carrying a bunch of books. I think he is carrying a bunch of them that we still need to read. Teldrin. What's our next move? If it'll help us get moving quicker, sure. Let us read... Um, let's see here. Galerion the Mystic. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. Right behind you. Uh-huh. So we're going to just kind of stand here by this table. We're going to read Galerion, the Mystic, by Asgrim Colesgreg. During the early bloody years of the Second Era, Venus Galerion was born under the name of Tractus, a serf on the estate of a minor nobleman Lord Girness of Solakchik on care. Trectus's father and mother were common laborers, but his father had secretly, against the law of Lord Girness, taught himself and then Trectus to read. Lord Girness had been advised that literate serfs were an abomination of nature and dangerous to themselves and their lords, and had closed all bookstalls within Solakchik on care. All booksellers, poets, and teachers were forbidden, except within Jernass's keep. Nevertheless, a small-scale smuggling operation kept a number of books and scrolls in circulation right under Jernass's shadow. When Trectus was eight, the smugglers were found and imprisoned. Some said that Trectus's mother, an ignorant and religious woman fearful of her husband, was the betrayer of the smugglers, but there were other rumors as well. The trial of the smugglers was non-existent, and the punishment swift. The body of Trectus' father was kept hanging for weeks during the hottest summer Solichik on care had seen in centuries. Three months later, Trectus ran away from Lord Janass's estate. He made it as far as Alinor, halfway across Somerset Isle. A band of troubadours found him nearly dead, curled up in a ditch by the side of the road. They nursed him to health and employed him as an errand boy in return for food and shelter. One of the troubadours, a soothsayer named Heliand, began to testing Trectus's mind and found the boy, though shy, to be preternaturally intelligent and sophisticated given his circumstances. Heliand recognized in the boy a commonality, for Heliand had been trained in the isle, or on the isle of Arteum as a mystic. When the troop was performing in the village of Potanza, on the far eastern end of Somerset, Heliand took Trectus, then a boy of eleven, to the Isle of Arteum. The magister of the Isle, uh, Iachesis, recognized potential in Trectus and took him on as a pupil, giving him the name Vanus Galarian. Vanus trained his mind on the Isle of Arteum as well as his body. Thus was the first archmagister of the Mages' Guild trained. From the Psygics of the Isle of Arteum, he received his training. From his childhood of want and injustice, he received his philosophy of sharing knowledge. Well, that book ended abruptly, didn't it? Well, we have now read Galarian the Mystic. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.